Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mandy and I like to talk about makeup, makeup panning, and spooky stuff. Today I have my update for the paranormal pantivity, so hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Alright, today is the update for Paranormal Pantivity. This is a fantastic ladies collab group project and it was created by Andrea at Pretty as a Peacock. Uh, it started on September 24th of 2022 and goes until September 24th of 2023. It is all about spooks and specters and things that go bump in the night. She created the Andrea created the project so that you can do it monthly or bi-monthly, working on six products at a time, rolling style, or bringing them all in at once. So I am working on six at a time, rolling style, and let's get into what I'm working on, what I can roll out, and what is coming in this month. So the first prompt I am working on is for Screaming Skulls, and that is a Halloween or scary themed item and I brought in my Venom palette from BH Cosmetics and this I am working on the shade Silent Killa which is this one right here. My goal is to use it 13 times and at the last update I've used it 9 and over the last month I have used it the 4 times I needed. I am wearing it today on the outer corner. It is a beautiful gun metal gray shadow and I will give you a swatch of it there and that is it there it is beautiful but I have met my goal where did my wife go so that is a goal met yay me all right next we have the prompt demon which is something you were tempted into buying and for myself, that was a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I had heard people talk about these all the time, and so when I placed an order with Ulta, I picked one that looked like it would be a color I liked. Um, unfortunately, I was checking, picking online, and this is the one I came up with. So this is the shade Plume. It is a Super Shock Ultra Glitter. And it is pink. And pink is not a color I gravitate toward. Um, yeah. My goal is to use it 13 times. I'm up to 6. I'm thinking I may change that goal to 10 uses. I think I could use it 4 more times. Yeah. I'm going to change it to 10 so I have 4 more uses to go. Still, you know. A little ways. I was thinking of changing, you know, cutting it in half and saying seven. Um, and that would give me one more use. But um, yeah, ten should be okay. Let me know in the comments if you think I should aim for ten more uses, uh, ten for a goal of ten for four more uses, or if I should just cut it off at seven uses and call it good with one more use. So let me know in the comments what your opinion is on this, but it is not something I am drawn toward organically. So it's a struggle to use. So that is staying in. The next prompt is for Ouija board and that is something with embossing. And for that, I brought in this lovely lipstick and this is the shade Ranch Girl, which is sort of an orangey pink. And my goal is to use it five times. I have worn it three times. I was going to say four, but three times. I've worn it three times. And so I have two more uses to go on this. And this is a shade that I'm not sure how I feel about. This is more my jam. I like a dark berry red. This is more of a pinky coral orangey color and um yeah not sure I care for it this might be making its way out of my collection 
after I finish my goal of two more uses. So we'll see. Next prompt is for orbs. Something that brings light to your face. And I decided to bring in a highlighter palette because light. This is the Aspen palette from BH Cosmetics. It is a six pan highlighter palette and I have used, I feel like I used, I say I have four. Okay, so which one did I use? That one, okay. I have a post-it note here to remind myself last time I used it. Apparently I didn't mark my post-it note, but it is a six shade highlighter palette. And so far I have used these two shades here, pink and peach, and the white and the purple. And my goal is no pan left behind. So I have the bright pink and the blue yet to use. Two more uses to go. Then we have for seance, uh, something you bought because someone told you to or recommended it. For that, I brought in my Zoya nail polish in the shade Mandy because Deb B and Danny both really recommend Zoya nail polishes and I didn't have any and they are named after people and my name is Mandy. So I had to get this shade. Pink on my nails, I don't mind. Pink on my eyes is a whole other story. Um, but I did wear this once. I will try to insert a picture up here of me wearing it. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It is a beautiful pink with a shimmer, pink shimmer in it. And yeah, my goal was to use it, wear it once, and I did. So goal met for seance. And finally, the last prompt, nope. Yes, the last prompt I'm working on is for Flying Dutchman, and that is something you are doomed to pen forever, or seems like forever. And I brought in a blush. This is my Essence The Blush, and this is in shade 70, Believing. My goal is to use it 20 times, and I had noticed that the hinge had been cracked. It's broken now. Yeah, it finally broke. So the, the, the lid pops off now, um, but I have used it four times out of 20. And I just brought this in last month, so I still have quite a few more. I have 16 more uses to go. But I am wearing it today. It is a beautiful color on me. I love a cool toned blush. I am a very cool toned person. And um, yeah, really enjoy this. So that is staying in and I'm not mad about it. All right, so we have, I'm only bringing in one prompt. I realized I forgot I finished two, but I'm only bringing in one because that's all I came up with and I don't feel like going back and searching for more. So the next prompt that I'm bringing in this month is for afterlife and that is something past its expiration date. And if nail polish had an expiration date, I'm sure this product would be past it. Um, but this is a polish I got from a recent Facebook haul. This is from X, uh, Formula X and it is the shade Intergalactic. It is a rosy base with gold shimmer and I'm trying to revive it. It is, it is in a usable state at the moment. Um, my goal is to use it once to see if it, it is worth trying to continue trying to save it or if I should just pass it along. Um, so I'm going to try and get one use out of this and we'll see. I'm like turning it around trying to see. I was just adding thinner and some clear polish to it to revive it. It seems to be in a, in a workable state at the moment. The brush is a little beat up and I'm a little sad about that. But I think I have another shade of polish very similar to this already from another haul de-stash. Um, but yeah, so this is Formula X's Intergalactic. I am going to try and use this once and that is it. So if you enjoyed this update, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content and you're not subscribed already, why not? 
Um, it's really easy. Just hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of the screen and uh, right next to it there's a bell icon. Go ahead and click that to be notified every time I upload a video. And until my next video, take care of yourselves and stay true to you. I'll see you later. Bye!